The question you have to ask yourself is, is that system going to last 26 years? And the expected useful life of most equipment is 15 to 20 years. Hi, Mitch Bailey here. I get asked the same question all the time. How much am I going to save? What's the difference in savings over time based upon I go 18 seer or 15 seer? Well, there's actually a very easy calculation we can do to give you what the average savings should be between the two systems and what you should cost you to run them. This, this is a, an example here in the back of a three ton unit where all we're changing is we're just do, doing F, different seer ratings from 15 to 18 seer. So pretty simple. So let's go over it real quick. Okay, first off, we're taking a three ton unit. Three ton unit makes 36,000 BTUs, okay? So uh, then this is a nominal. It can differ a little bit between the systems, but 1,159 cooling hours. Now this is data to, provided by the Department of Energy. You can pull this data up for your area and it'll tell you how many cooling hours you have uh, in your area. You take that 1,159 per year, multiply it by the 36,000 BTUs, we're going to divide it by the SEER rating, 18 SEER in this case, times our kilowatt rate per hour average, 25 cent, or 24 cents per kilowatt, divided by 1,000, and then we come up with $556 per year on average this system should cost to run. Now, if it's a hot year, yeah, it's going to be higher, and if you like to crank your air conditioner down, it's going to be higher also. But if it's a cool year, it should be a little lower, or if you like to keep it a little warmer in your house, say 80, set it at instead of 75, you're going to have a lower uh, bill. This is an average of what it should be. That system costs $20,000. Now, if it costs $20,000 and I go instead use a 15 SEER system, everything's the same but the SEER rating, and we do the math, it costs $667 a season to, to, to use that system, uh, but it only costs $17,000. What's the difference? $112 per year, but $3,000 in cost. And if you take that cost, uh, over, over the life of this, or over, uh, how long does it take to recoup those dollars? $3,000 divided by $112 equals 26 years. So it's going to take you 26 years to see payback on that system. The question you have to ask yourself is, is that system going to last 26 years? And the expected useful life of most equipment is 15 to 20 years. So that's probably not likely going to happen. So is it worth going to the 18th year? I would much rather you take the $3,000 and put it toward fixing insulation in the house, maybe uh, some weather sealing, maybe your ductwork has some issues and we could take care of those and spend those dollars, which will give you more bang for your buck. How's your windows? Maybe you need to replace your windows and those give us really good, uh, uh, really kind of takes the equipment down in size when we do that. So we might not have to put a three ton in, we might be able to put a two and a half ton system in and that will save a lot more money because if we and you can do the math yourself if you want to try what it would be. Take this to 30,000 BTUs and do the math, and you'll find it will very come very close to what it costs to do that 18 sear system just by sizing down the windows. Apply some of that money toward windows, insulation, envelope, ductwork, and you'll find that you actually get a better system overall. All right, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you on the next one.